Hey, Will. Um, Malone just said uh, he felt like some of the guys quit out there tonight. Um, when, when, when it's a game like that and a performance like that, do you say anything? Does anybody say anything in, in the post-game locker room? Yeah, some things were said. Um, I won't get into, but some things were definitely said. Some things that need to be said, but um, all that is irrelevant. We got to go into court game three and play like we know how we need to play to win. Katie Wingy, Altitude Sports. Hey, well, Coach was also really complimentary of your play, called you the silver lining tonight. How tough was it for you to be on a minutes restriction, and how good did it feel to be back out there after all this time? Um, it was tough with it being the playoffs. I was struggling tonight, you know, just wanting to win and help the team as much as I can. But um, I knew what it was going into the game, so I wasn't – you know, too upset. Um, I got to just trust the, the plan for me, the plan that the, um, our medical staff has put together and just take it one moment at a time. Um, it felt good to be back out there, uh, get out there and play, but um, just got to be ready game three to try to do even more to get us over the hump. Ashley Neville, Mile High Sports. Hey, Will, good to see you. I know that you mentioned going back home, you need to find, you know, Denver Nugget style basketball, play the way you guys know how to play. How do you go about bouncing back from, you know, two really tough losses against Phoenix? Setting the tone from the beginning. Um, hitting them first. Go out there, defend first with a defensive mindset. Uh, hustle, fly around, get those 50-50 balls, do whatever, because uh, it's basically do or die. Um, so we got to come out from the jump, ready to play, ready to win the ball game. Vinny Benedetto, Denver Gazette. Hey, Will, you guys go one of 13 from three in the first quarter. I guess what kind of mental toughness or, or what kind of things do you need to do to, to be able to overcome that and kind of hang in a game? Just saying, better. Play harder. Be more physical. Every game, shots are going to fall. Can't rely on just – Offense or making threes, we got to get after guys, make them uncomfortable, and uh, make it that type of game, especially when we're not hitting our shots. Mark Kisla, Denver Post. Um, Coach was also saluting you, saying he knows you hated the fact that he had to take you out. Balance trusting the plan the medical staff has with you, with your desire to contribute even more and. How much do you think you could play in, in, in game three? Um, like I said, um, the medical staff has been doing a great job with me, um, helping me get back on the court and get me to this point. So um, I have to trust, you know, the plan for me. Um, at this point, I mean, I, I don't know until I get out there and actually do it, how long I could play or, or whatever that looks like. I won't know until I actually do it. Um, I do know that, um, I'm willing to uh, take the risk. That's why I came back and played. And um, I can't be scared of, of, of what's going to happen out there. I've made the decision to play, and I got to go out there and give it my all. And um, like I said, whatever the medical staff, whatever coach and those guys agree on, I'm going to stick to the plan. He knows I want to play more. They know I want to play more. But um, we do have to be smart. But at the same time, I know what I'm risking. So um, I'm prepared for anything. Just got to go out there and play hard. Katie Wingy, Altitude Sports. Well, the way Chris Paul has been playing in these first two games, what can you do to get him more out of his rhythm? Um, you know, give him credit. Um, he's playing well. Uh, very, very smart point guard, high IQ. Um, we just got to make it more uncomfortable for him. Force, try to force him to do things he don't want to do, make it tougher for him, um, and know his tendencies. Uh, we got to do that for all the guys. Uh, right now, I feel like they're getting to their spots and getting to the things that, they, that they're comfortable doing and want to do. Um, we have to go in there with a mindset of knowing what they like to do and try to make them do other things. And if they score that way, you tip your hat to them. But right now, I feel like we're making it too easy and they get and they're getting to their sweet spots and and, and playing the way they want to play. So um 
We have to get them out of their comfort zone, all of them. Brandon Cristal, KOA Denver. Well, when you talk about you guys need to defend better and, and play with more effort and coach talk about you quitting, those seem like correctable mistakes. So do you take a little bit of solace knowing that it's maybe more effort than ability that that can be corrected? Uh, definitely, definitely. It's just a will thing at this point. Either we're going to go out there and do it or we're not and we're going to lose. Uh, people try to overcomplicate things, but at this point, to me, this is when it gets the most simplest. You either go out there and execute and play hard or you go home. Simple as that. Mike Singer, Denver Post. Hey, Will. Um, when they were kind of putting it on you guys in the third quarter, I think it got up to about 20 point uh, difference. How much did you appreciate seeing Aaron step to step to Jay um, and kind of show some fight and show some you know energy and pulse on your guys' end? Uh, any kind of fight shown is, is welcome. And um, we we need to do that from the jump off. Mark Kisla, Denver Post. I want to follow up on something you said earlier when I asked you a question, and and you you said, you know, you're willing to take the risk, um, the health risk, and uh, this is your career. And so, with much respect, how big a risk do you think you're taking? You you had a pretty serious injury there that you're trying to come back from. I mean, it was a serious injury. Um, hamstring is nothing to play with. One of the trickiest injuries you can have. Um, been out a month and some change. So anytime you, you you get back to playing basketball and then playoff intensity, um, you know, I'm at a high risk, just just being honest. So workouts, playing three on three, one on one, all that is good, but it, nothing can replace, you know, actually game reps and and the intensity of, of of playoff basketball. So um, it is a risk, but um, I was out there playing tonight. Like I said, I've decided to um, to do that. So it's on me. Um, I know what I'm up against, and at this point, I can't really. I got to try to block that out and go out there and play the way I play and give it everything that I do have. With others in me, I have to give that, or just don't play. All right, we got time for one more. We're going to end with Esteban Abed. Hi, Will. It's great to see you back again in action. Uh, about the defense from Phoenix, do you think the uh, one of point about their victory is control the the um, support the from the bench of Denver? Good, good. Their defense. Good. Did you, uh, could you repeat that one more time? Yes, about the defense from from Phoenix, do you think one of the big points of this victory, it's control the apport from, come from the bench of uh, Denver? As um, for example, um, Monte Morris, it's slow scoring, um, uh, how, that that's the point or Austin Rivers he didn't can great uh, points for the team uh, we'll get, give them credit uh, they got after the night um, and we didn't respond um, I know what our guys are capable of and we just got to get it done game three by any means necessary um, that's just the bottom line all right that'll do it Thank you, Will. Thank you.